Hey y'all, it's the Home Ec Lady. Thanks for joining me today. If this is your first time here, my name is April and I talk about all things home economics. Today, I am working on a pair of pajamas for my Etsy shop. Uh, lately, I have been making these little sleepers. These are for um, dolls that are 12 inch and smaller. About six inches is as small as I can go for my fingers and my eyes. <laughs> so, from six inches to 12 inches is the size I've been making, and they seem to be pretty popular. That's, that doll size seems to be pretty popular, so I'm gonna try a new style um, in cotton rather than flannel. And I went to the fabric store and I found some really cute little pattern fabric. This one has gnomes on it, and this one has little reindeer on it, which I think will be good for the holiday shopping. And I dug into my pattern stash and found this vintage pattern. And I'm going to be making this style here with a raglan style sleeve. It's a lot easier than putting in a regular sleeve for a really small doll. This pattern is dated 1973. And I do believe I got it at the thrift store for maybe a dollar. And the first thing that I had to do was take the pattern pieces out and scan them. And then once they were scanned, I put them onto a Word document and sized them. And I think this is gonna work. This is the pants. And then I've got the shirt pieces. There's three shirt pieces here. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna fit on about a nine inch doll, but I have to make it first. So whenever I make a pattern for the first time, I always try to use a scrap fabric that I have on hand. And in this case, I just need a very small piece. So I'm using a little bit of a shirt that I had in my scrap pile and I'll make the pattern in this size first and see what size doll it fits and how I need to adjust it in order to create the final pattern um, or the final product. So I've got my pattern here. I'm gonna lay it out on my shirt and I'm gonna create the first draft of this pajama set and see how we go. So I'll put it together and meet you back here. All right, so I'm feeling pretty proud of myself. On the first try, I got the size. I didn't put any elastic in it because I don't wanna waste that on a sample. I just basically put the pattern together. I didn't hem it or put elastic in it at all. Um, and it is the appropriate size for a nine inch. So now that I have my first size, you can see I got the pants and they are the right inseam. They're a little long because there's no hem in them and they're a little tall on the waist because they don't have elastic in them yet. Um, and then the top, it's a raglan sleeve top that has a gathered neckline. And so if I kind of take it in like this, it's going to be the perfect size. Um, put a little hem on the, on the cuff and that's exactly what I'm looking for. So I don't have to adjust the pattern at all. Uh, I did make one change to the pattern itself and that is um, on the original pattern, it had just a gathered neckline without elastic and I don't wanna do that. I want it to be able to fit over the head with the elastic rather than having a closure on the back. Because one of the things that I was noticing with the sleepers that I was making is that I had to always buy zippers. And zippers aren't exactly cheap, um, especially when you go up in size from, from seven inches to nine inches and so forth. It's over a dollar per outfit. So I didn't want to have any type of closures. Elastic is fairly inexpensive, especially when you're using just a little bit around the neck and around the waist. Um, and I might even put some elastic around the wrists. I haven't decided on that yet. So now I can go ahead and uh, make this uh, pajamas in my final fabric. And I think I wanna start with the gnomes cause they're super cute and I would love to see what it looks like in the gnomes. So I'm gonna get started on that and uh, let you know how it goes.
a little bit of trouble getting the elastic into the neckline. So I think I'm gonna make some adjustments on the next one that I do, but it turned out super cute. It has an elastic neck and raglan sleeves because it's hard to set a little sleeve and then tiny little pants. And I do think that I'm actually gonna make the top just a little bit longer on the ones that I make next. So I was looking at the pattern and I wanna make a few changes. Number one, I wanna make the top just a little bit longer. Um, the legs and the arms also I wanna make a little bit longer. I think I'm gonna end up putting some elastic in the sleeves. I'm um, not totally sure about that yet. So I took my pattern pieces and I traced them onto paper and then I made the adjustments. I added a centimeter to the top, a centimeter to the bottom um, on the top and I also made adjustments to the sleeve and uh, the pants. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be my final draft uh, because I mean that's so cute. This turned out so cute. So just those few minor adjustments I think will do it. And uh, I'm gonna make one up and see how it goes. So I finished two sizes. I have a little eight inch size and also a nine inch size. And I'm gonna continue working on this pattern. I may offer it on my Etsy shop, but the finished products will definitely be available in, this, in the eight and nine inch sizes. Um, I do have a 10 inch size, but I ran out of fabric. I was able to make two of the eight inch size and two of the nine inch size out of a half a yard of fabric. So all I got was a half a yard of this gnome fabric. And I have some cotton in my stash, so I'm gonna do some 10 inch later today, but I thought I would share this with you. I think they're adorable and it didn't take a whole lot of effort. I hope I've inspired you. Have a great day.